The brake wheel cylinder is attached to the backing plate with two 10 millimeter bolts. Below is the brake line and you'll need to remove that too. I'm not using any specialized tools on this job. Just this 10 millimeter wrench and another one for the brake line and a few odds and ends, a pair of pliers for the adjuster spring. You'll need to remove the adjuster spring at the top here. Give it one or two good smacks with a hammer. And pry it free. Of course, be prepared for different brake parts to come loose. Nothing did here except for the adjuster arm. You should know how to put together drum brakes before attempting this job. For 14 years old, it actually doesn't look too bad. A little rusty. The drums only have 100,000 miles on them, but they are old and the rubber seals do wear out over time. Here's our new wheel cylinder. It's easier to remove the shoes first before installing the wheel cylinder, but it's easier to do it this way if you're not replacing the shoes. Just pry it in. This is the adjuster assembly, which adjusts the parking brake. It came loose and now we're putting it back in again. This is the adjuster spring. You have to weave it behind the hub to fit it in. It's kind of tricky. If you get confused where everything goes, take a picture before you begin and use it as your reference. Or look at the brake on the other side. Now I'm going to install the brake line and tighten the two mounting bolts. Spray away any brake fluid that might have leaked and adjust the parking brake before putting the drum back on. The drum should not spin freely. There should be some resistance as you turn it. Now bleed the brakes. Push the brake pedal. And then release the pressure. I'm using a pry bar wedged between the pedal and the seat to keep pressure on the line. Then you release the pressure by turning the bleeder valve and then retightening it.
repeat this process six or seven times and that should do it.